All right, welcome to Club D Sport. We are here today to talk about RB26 performance. RB26 cylinder head, you know, right now, RB26 is becoming more and more popular as the R32 can be legalized in just about all states except the communist state here of California. Um, what we're talking about today is a modification you can make to the cylinder head to use high lift camshafts. This cylinder head has already had the modification made and these areas here have been machined out of each of the buckets so that we could have clearance for a high lift camshaft. This is about a 11 and a half millimeter lift camshaft. And uh, there we go. And you can see, if I can get it in here, hold on a second. Uh, but yeah, you can see once it's in here, you can see that now after the modification, there's plenty of clearance on both ends, bottom and top there. And let me show you what happens if you try to put a camshaft of this size in the cylinder head. This is a brand new OEM cylinder head that has not been modified yet. If you try to put it in something of this size, you're going to have interference on both ends, on this side here. And also, as you can see up, up here, it also is interfering. So on both sides, you're going to have interference, but uh, we've got a little program here for our CNC that's going to go ahead and uh, fix this problem in about five minutes. So what we're doing is we're running a, a four axis setup. This is a five axis machine, but we're running a four axis setup. What that means is the bed can move in the X and Y direction and the, uh, the turret, the head can move in the Z direction. And then we also have the rotary table, which is the, uh, the A axis, which you can rotate upon. Nick's going to go ahead and uh, send it. Send it. Send it. So we'll let it start out so you can see what's happening. It's going to start and start spitting some cooling out. We'll close it up here. And uh, maybe we can see what's going on a little bit better from the side. got that end mill coming in and uh, plunging into that pocket, relieving it and clearancing it for what it needs to be. If you want to look here on the head, I'll show you exactly kind of what's happening. It's, uh, for illustration purposes, we've got a, an end mill that's essentially coming down here, machining that area and then going towards the center to continue that slot so that there's enough clearance there. And it's going to go through, and this is the part you don't want to miss. Get up there, and you'll see as it hits the last one here, it's going to go ahead and uh, pull up and do a rotation and start attacking the other side. Okay, and uh, if you want to look. Right now, it's still working on, on the same side of the head. It did one side of it, rotated, now it's doing the other uh, portion of it. So these are at two very different angles where it's actually machining it. And it'll come through, it'll machine um, both sides of this. And it's about to do the crossover real quick here, so you'll see it again. Doing the crossover. We're going to rotate that back around and come down. Alright, and if you look over here, you can actually see on the display the path that it's taking right now, how it's moving up and around. The red, it, red indicates where it's rapiding to the next position, the green is where it's going at a controlled rate and actually doing the cutting. There's a total of 48 cuts that it'll make. It's a 24 valve and there's two cuts on each lifter bucket valley that it's actually making the modification on.
don't know if we can peek through here, see what's going on a little bit better. Not have too much coolant flying at us. Two more to go. All right. <clears throat> so now let's pull this forward and we'll rotate it forward after we get to the front here. All right, back up a little bit there. And now you can see the same camshaft that uh, would not fit before. As you see, now these have all been machined out so we can get in there and uh, hopefully have the clearances that we need. And that's exactly what we have here. So got enough clearance there on that side and of course on the front side here. We got enough clearance, backside enough clearance. We are set. So this head can go to its next stage. Uh, in the case of this cylinder head, uh, what we'll do next on it after this machining process, we'll actually go through and do some CNC porting uh, to the exhaust ports to kind of get them squared up and give us kind of a rough for the ham porting that we'll be doing on that. We'll send it over to the new and machine and do a, uh, a fully uh, profiled uh, valve job on it. And from there, it's just shimming the camshafts for the head and it's good to go. Uh, Another RB26 head ready to make 14, 1500 horsepower on the street.